Alright, in this video I'll be continuing with the uh, C sharp tutorials. Uh, so in the playlist, uh, so there's a few things I forgot to mention uh, last time. Uh, so we talked about uh, about colors. So we had uh, talked about about colors. So I forgot to mention if we call this keyword. So this dot back color points to color dot blue, for example. The this keyword here, if you guys can see that. Uh, so the this keyword uh, represents the form. So this is calling the form object. We'll talk about that uh, later on. More more so about the code. But just remember that, so that just goes with colors, that's the only thing I forgot to mention. There's also the uh, background color, sorry, background image uh, property. So you can set a form, a form's background image. What's happening here? I feel, I feel like there's a uh, part of this is missing here. Oh no, I think it's just all the way on one side. Yeah, okay, so there you go. Uh, so we have... So the background color uh, property... Actually, sorry, so the background image property, so we can look for uh, background image property. So we can change that to any picture. Uh, I think it's because my... Uh, my uh, theme is set to night mode or something, high contrast, so it's not showing it properly. Uh, but there's that. Uh, so you can basically just click the ellipsis button, a dialog box will come up. Click the import button, uh, and you can upload a picture to your background, kind of like exactly like a picture box, except it's set to the background of the form, and then you can change the uh, background image layout to like tile, center, stretch, or zoom. Sorry, so that's pretty much it. Uh, so we'll be moving on here to something more important, which is like a core part of uh, a core part of C sharp. So organizing controls with group boxes and panels. Apologize for hitting the mic a second ago. My hand sometimes gets caught on the cord. Unfortunately, a Bluetooth uh, mic didn't work out for quality. So this, I'll just take that out. Actually, we'll could just leave that there just in case someone wants to copy that down. So we have uh, group boxes and panels are containers. So what do you do with containers? Uh, you put stuff in them. You can think of like a lunch container, sandwich box container, like whatever, muffin container, fruit, vegetable, snack, whatever you want. Uh, those plastic things with a lid, or you can, can might have a glass container with a plastic lid or whatever, rubber lid or glass lid. Basically like Tupperware, that's a container, so you've heard this topic before if you've worked with GUIs in any different language. So we're going to be talking about uh, that. So a group box control is a rectangular control that appears with a thin border and an optional title in its upper left corner. Uh, so maybe we should probably, that's an important note, so let's just jot that down here. Uh, so let's just make some comments. Well, maybe like this. Okay, so uh, a group box uh, control is a rectangular control that appears with a thin that appears with a thin border and an optional t 
title in its uh, upper left corner. So that part's important, the title, because uh, it kind of, we'll talk about panels in a sec, but they look uh, relatively similar. So you'll probably 100% get tested on the difference between them. And you might have to, you, if you're taking this in, in like a university or high school class, uh, you'll probably have to, uh, like co university, I mean college as well, whatever, same thing. But you'll have to uh, basically probably just explain some key points of how they're either similar or different. And then maybe some more. Uh, pr could, could be a big topic on a test, actually, because containers are pretty important. It's like the core concept of a GUI. It's a core concept of a GUI design, so you need to know how they work. Uh, so we'll be talking about that here more. Uh, so also it is a container that we mentioned that can hold other controls. So for example, a group box can hold buttons, labels, text boxes, uh, all in one group box. Uh, so you can use group boxes to create a sense of, a sense of visual organization on a form. So used for visual organization and to group things. Uh, so you can in JavaFX, I believe you have a group in Android. You perhaps have a group as well. Apologize for Android, I got a bit behind on video, so I'll try to get at least one of those up pretty soon. There's only I only have five videos, but they're long. They're a few hours each. Uh, we'll try to get those out. Uh, apologize for that. Out as possible, uh, as soon as possible. But just note that this is pretty much very similar. Uh, so group in Java, I think they have a group, or in Android, they have a group in Android Java, probably in Kotlin too which we'll try to do at some point. Uh, but a group, so it's very similar in, in uh, visuals, sorry, in uh, C sharp, it's called a group box instead of a group. So it's very similar. Panels are the same, I believe. Uh, panel is the same in C sharp and uh, Java. So the group box is control is found in the toolbox in the container section. When you create a group box control, you can set its title property to the text that you want displayed in the group box's upper left corner. Uh, so you can can set a title in the group boxes upper left corner if you don't want a title uh, you can just clear or clear text property contents for no title So we're going to be doing some labs, uh, just making sure I got the up to date with the labs for now. I think we are up to date with the labs for now. Uh, so the next, so yeah, so we're going to have a bigger lab here coming up. There was one lab I wanted to do, uh, but I just, it was about the background image for you guys. It's not that hard to do that. So we'll just, uh, Skip that. Sorry, just finding where I was here. Okay, so we have uh, a lab which we'll, we will be doing uh, coming up pretty soon in uh, the next video. So, so you can create a group box control. I'll show you guys how to do that uh, coming up in the next video. Uh, so. 
basically uh, let's just see here what else I have okay so we said the group box control is found in the toolbox like if we're using the drag and drop so uh, okay we'll go with toolbox here somewhere okay system Windows of forms group box right there we have panel right there we probably have more stuff uh, in the actual main managed components you can get uh, many more things but these are the main things group box and panel which we will be doing uh, an example on those the main those are the main containers used in forms so that's where they are uh, we'll be working with those, uh, at least in the drag and drop, and some of the event handlers coming up later on. We'll be coding them all, so don't worry. So yeah, so we'll be getting into that uh, later on. So suppose you just created a group box control to add another control to the group box. Select the, select the group box control and then double click the desired tool in the toolbox to place another control inside the group box. So let's just try doing that. So let's just put a group box here or something. I'll try to just okay so it doesn't really move uh, okay so you can move it with that box there if you guys can see that on the upper left corner of the bounding box uh, not the small squares there's like a bigger one beside it take that you can drag it around this is what it is. You use it to group things on a form with a title. Panels don't have a title. We'll talk about those in a sec. So to add another control to the group box, uh, select the group box control and then double click the desired tool in the toolbox. Let's just add a button to this. So we, so we click the group box, got the bounding box, uh, bounding box up, then we'll click a button, place it in there, done. We can go with like a couple of them. Right, so that that's how you do it. We'll be working with those uh, more later on, don't worry. So you can move ex an existing control to a group box. Uh, in a, if an existing control is not inside a group box, but you want to move it into the group box, Select the control you wish to add to the group box, uh, cut the control to the clipboard, select the group box, paste the control. So we, we'll, we won't do that, that's just how to do it. We talked about how to remove and resize the group box, uh, at least by drag and drop for now. To delete a group box, just select it and press the delete key on the keyboard. There's a special tab order for uh, group boxes as well. So the value of, the, of a controls tab index property is handled differently when the control is placed inside a group box control. So group box controls have their own tab index property and the tab index value of the controls inside the group box are relative to the group box controls tab index property. Uh, so, for example, uh, well, I believe they go 0 0.00.1, 0 0.02 and up, uh, but we're going to skip that. You can check it out if you really need to. Okay, let's just, let's just click a button and go to tab index right there zero that one's one okay that one's two okay so it's not 0 0.1 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 in this case which is interesting that's what the notes say uh it could be well uh, so sorry let me just repeat that so as you can see the group box controls tab index is set to zero 
tab. Oh, okay, so the way it's displayed, which we're not in that mode, but there's a way to pull it up. Once you do that, it should show 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3. But in any case, don't really need to worry about that. The point is that it's 0, 1, 2, so just go with that. Index 0, 1, and 2, remember it goes up by the order you add them, like an array or a string index. They start at 0 and go up. So we'll just move on from that. So it says the tab index properties of the controls inside the group box will not appear this way in the properties window as, as we just found out. They will appear 0, 1, 2, and so on. Okay, so that's that concludes uh, the notes for group boxes. We'll also talk about uh, about panels as well. So probably just another half here. So let's take a sip of my water. Feel free to take a break or whatever. Or just skip that. I'm coming back. I'm just going to. Uh, We'll just start right now, actually. Just make some... Um, I feel like I'm going to be do, teaching a class on this one day and like telling them to take a break or something. Okay, so let me just fix my keyboard here. Something glitched out. Alright, so we have our... Uh, we have group, so we have a group box control, a group box, uh, is a container, so now panels are also a container. So panels, uh, should have probably put this up here, it's fine. So panels, uh, a panel control is a rectangular container for other controls, like a group box, but it's uh, less, kind of like, a, you can think of like a panel as like a smaller group box with no title. You guys seen like a house, right? So like a house has like side panels. Uh, like near the, like on the roof. I'm not much of a roofer, but I was kind of thinking of an example. Like a panel is like a piece of something, whereas a group is where a group box is more of like a a whole kind of box. The panels you can think of it like a piece of the box, or like a piece of the pie or something. Like you know, like when, on the on those greenhouses they have like those glass square looking things you can think of those like in like an, in a grow up or something they have like a like a glass windows those are basically like panels but each piece there's like a maybe like a thousand pieces to the whole greenhouse each one is basically a panel or you've seen maybe like on uh, sun on like solar energy they have those uh, reflective things those are panels basically so that's pretty much what it is so you think of it like a like a square piece of something, like a kind of like, yeah, so we'll just talk about that here. So a panel control is a rectangular container for other controls, uh, like a group box, but there are several primary differences between a panel and a group box. Uh, so panels and group boxes differ. A panel can't display a title and does not have a text property. So I think we said there can be an optional title here in group for group boxes. Uh, so if you guys hopefully can see that, I have to zoom out because uh, to get all the text here. So panel can't display a title and does not have a text property. Uh, 
a panel's border can be specified by its border style property. Uh, uh, so I think the border style has is like that. So border style, you've seen it before, but there's these are going to be different. Uh, actually, no, these are the same as before. So that's like none. Fix single. Uh, fix 3D. So the property is none by default. We don't really need to write that down. That's pretty much it actually, uh, so you can think of it as like a lesser group box. It's not, it's not like a main group box. It's like a, a piece of the group box where you can group some things, but put, you can put them in the panel without a title. What else is there? And it, so yeah, so there's no title and no text property, which is pretty much the same thing. Like I mean that the text property and the title is pretty much the same thing. Perhaps there's more, uh, there's more, uh, text properties to a group box. We'll be getting into it more coming up. Uh, we'll be learning about them more. Uh, so this is like a, you can think of a group box as like the main container. And if you want to have like a smaller kind of container, secondary, without a title and stuff, you can choose a panel. You can probably, you can probably put a panel in a group box and so on to like divide it into different sections or whatnot. So that's pretty much it for the notes. We'll be coming up. We'll be actually doing a lab pretty soon with colors and stuff using group boxes and panels. So we just have a bit on uh, logic errors. I don't think we really need to go on that. Uh, really need to focus on that too much. I kind of discussed that stuff throughout the course. Okay, so we will have. Uh, perhaps a uh, a lab coming up here pretty soon so hopefully you guys will check out the next lab so thanks for watching guys uh, in the next tutorial we'll be, we'll be going over some labs and stuff working on coding some of these uh, concepts so thanks for watching hope to see you there if you guys like the channel you can like and subscribe to the channel for more programming and investing tutorials hopefully I'll see you in the next one take care